How goes the family? Welcome back to Letters Anything Goes. Today, I'm just going to go over a couple of things in regards to why it is one of the best times to start a business. But, and not only that, the beauties of being able to start a business. Because number one, most people know that you don't have to have a, you know, a MBA from any specific prestigious school to start um, a business. I mean, if you look at the founders of Twitter, you look at... Um, you know, you look at other founders of other tech companies and whatnot, um, a lot of people just, you know, said the heck with college, I wanna, you know, I wanna start on working on specific projects and um, I don't think I should go through four to six years or seven years of school in order for me to do that or whatnot. So, especially given the fact nowadays, you know, household debt has, you know, grown tremendously. Um, unemployment is definitely high in the United States. You know, um, and, you know, and, and another thing is, you know, pe consumer spending isn't really what it was before the pandemic. You know, most people are buying stuff out of necessity and for maintaining right now. I myself am guilty of this all at the same time. You know, and there's a lot of multitude of obstacles that are out there for just people who just want to have a job. So we know that no matter what your dream job is, no matter what your dream company is, it's always, it's, it's a must to have a multitude of um, streams of income, you know? That's all I can say about that. Now, at the end of the day, um, you know, another reason is, you know, for the most part, um, for a lot of businesses, especially a lot of businesses that are grown from an online perspective, staffing is not a big deal because most people are one-stop shop or they have virtual assistants. So, you know, they don't have to worry about a lot of, um, what's the best way to put it? guaranteed overhead <laughs> you know you can have a virtual assistant for a certain amount of time you can terminate services obviously depending on the agreement that you've um you know created with the virtual assistant and then you can go from there you know uh, another great thing about this is that you have um you've actually created a shield if you're successful you created a shield against being unemployed because if you've or quote unquote have created a job for yourself and maybe a job for others, then you've put yourself in a position where you're not worried about unemployment because you are the boss, you know? Um, another great reason, um, depending on the product and the service that you offer, what's going on in the economy can be irrelevant, okay? For great example, um, even during the um, pandemic, people who were self-employed contractors, let's go with barbers and mechanics a lot of um or petitions i mean like i said the people that usually you know they're at a shop but a lot more people have become more mobile and whatnot and they have their own little van they have their own little truck um you and you've already had this mobile phenomenon happening before the pandemic i think it's just increased during the pandemic and it will increase after the pandemic because we are living in a time where more and more people are leaving the major cities people are buying or renting single family homes or townhomes away from the major cities, even people moving to rural communities and whatnot. So if they have the opportunity to not have to leave their house that much, people are all for it. That's why you have all these apps where people come to get food and uh, from just regular restaurants from, um, you know, what is it, from grocery stores, things of that nature. You have these people with all these specific opportunities and whatnot, all right? So, the need for certain things and services are always going to be there. People who do, are doing nails and whatnot, you know, uh, man manicures and things of that nature, pedicures, you know, the list goes on and on. A lot of these people will come to other people's homes and whatnot, and they just bill the, um, obviously, the mileage and the gas and whatnot. That's all tax write-off or whatnot, you know. So that's one, that's one great way of looking at it. Another thing to look at it um, at the end of the day, no matter what, you know, if you look at history, um, whether the economy went up, whether the economy went down, you've always had this um, multitude of jobs and companies being created and whatnot. From GE, General Electric, to FedEx, to, you know, Microsoft, to Airbnb, to Uber, to Lyft and whatnot. I mean, heck, these are services that uh, most people utilize on a regular basis, even during the pandemic, especially if it's online service. You know what I mean? So that's another, another thing to look at. You know, it's, it's an amazing thing to look at. Um, and I think that if people just um, understand that no matter what the case may be, 
having some sort of a, a side hustle slash business is not only great for you tax wise, and obviously you contact your um, CPA, certified fi financial professional, but it is a great, great, great thing um, to just be able to have um, options. You know, I think when anyone has options of where they can live, options to the schools that they can go to, options to the companies they can work for, options to the um, income that they can have, I think that the world um, could be a better place for it. Not just for yourself, but for your families. So do the great three free things, family. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. And 2021 is here. It's time for you to start owning something. Take care.